inspired by Adventure Archives, I was supposed to go backpacking and through Red River Gorge with some friends. <laughs> of course, that fell through. So I'm taking my bike, catching a train, and riding through Shawnee National Forest. morning and it's a cold one uh makeshift already took it off but the uh makeshift tin roof as i like to call it over the rain if i worked it must have been raining quite a bit last night when i after i went to bed but i stayed very 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 close completely dry um, a little bit leak through but yeah i'm warm and i survived I'm glad I kept my pile of wood nice and dry, so hopefully I can get another fire started and have another warm breakfast. I'm actually really excited to get on the road because, I mean, it's still a bit early, but it's quite cloudy and a tidbit windy, so the sun's not really warming anything up, so we'll be able to start to get a little bit warm. I think this has been the coldest morning of them all, but, uh, yeah. Long day in the saddle up ahead, 75 kilometers. But, uh, up and downs, but there's a whole lot more down than there is up. So, woo! So, I was back onto the gravel roads that led me in here. the 40 kilometer mark at Lake of Egypt again and winds are brutally coming out of the west the pace has been a lot slower than I want I mean it'll be fine I got like a three hour buffer but I was hoping as we draw closer to midday the winds would slow down but uh no signs of that yet, but we'll see. I mean, it's still, uh, it's 11. As I rode on now familiar roads, cold, I couldn't be bothered to film. However, I did stop at Grassy's General Store, as it's more formally known. Back in Carbondale now, it is like uh, 13, 15, so I had a schedule, sweet, and uh, first subway. Final leg home, I can think back upon the trip. Sure, there was a lot of things I did wrong, 
leaving my food pantry open the first night and not dressing warm enough, or bringing a rain fly that it wasn't actually waterproof anymore. And I took definite risks, not keeping wood piles in a waterproof bag or taking gravel roads and planning this trip so early in the season with gear I never have really actually tested. Yet these are things I would not change. These experiences are unlike any other. And a chance to be with the natural world. Thank you.